Welcome back. With the summer finally paying us a visit and so much more to see, it was certainly not a day for the office. Our Minister for Arts, Heritage and the Gaeltacht, Jimmy Dean in TD, enjoyed the atmosphere of the show. This is a very, very important show and it's a very hit historical show and it's very much part of our heritage as well. And the Connemara Pony is known the world over. So it's very important that we protect and promote the Connemara Pony. We have a bog pony in Kerry, uh, but uh, that never reached, I suppose, uh, the same level of international recognition as the Connemara Pony. And the Connemara Pony Society were one of the first to have a unique stud book which really was so important because it preserved the standards and the breed and it put an emphasis on quality breeding which was so important in uh, i suppose getting to where we were at at this moment of time when the society register about 3000 every year and uh, their stud book now is recognized all over the world and looking around here today, there are people here from all over the world. A large number of holidaymakers, also from uh, Ireland itself. From, I've met people here from Dublin, colleagues of mine that are here uh, for the festival, really. The festival makes their holidays every year. The in-hand classes continued throughout the day. By now, it was the turn of the older mares and stallions, and there were hundreds to choose from, all beautifully turned out. One very popular stallion was Kulal in Kushlon, who won the seven-year-old and over-registered stallion class for his owner, Joe Burke, from Castlegar in Galway. Kulal in Kushlon is also the sire of this year's champion foal, but it doesn't stop there. Today has just been crazy, really. Um, we just came with no expectations of what was going to happen at all today, and then um, we are in the four- to six-year-old stallion class, and we were second in that, and then uh, just straight away after we went into the, um, the senior stallion class and my stallion Kulilon Kushlon, he won, he won that class, uh, which was great for him because he's, uh, he, had, he had won the junior stallion class the, last year and he had won the three-year-old stallion class uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, he's having a really good day because his, one of his sons was uh, the winner of the foal, cold foal class and then went on to be champion foal. And then later on in the, in the day, he sired the three-year-old uh, stallion winner as well. So it's, uh, it's been crazy. So actually, I've just come back from France for the, for the week of the show um, because I've, I've been over there all summer with uh, my other stallion, um, Kirk Moore Cashel. He's uh, the sire of, of the, the one I won with today. And uh, he's just been crowned European Pony Champion for 2012. He's just swept the board and he's, he's won two shows over there. His two, his two outings, he's been champion, so it's been great. Well, at Clifton, I mean, it's the show to, to win at and, you know, it's, it's the showcase of the ponies for, for you and especially for stallions, for them to be seen and for, uh, for next year already, people are looking for stallions to cover their mares and things and, and it definitely has a big influence, you know, on, on, on their choice for next year. As the day came to an end, it was time to pick a champion from the in-hand classes. There were two championship classes, one for Connemara ponies bred, owned and exhibited by an owner resident outside Connemara. The junior champion, Irish Town Pippin, proved that she was indeed worthy of the title to the delight of her owners, Emer and John Fitzpatrick from Mullingar. The ladies were sweeping the board as the championship for those resident within Connemara was awarded to the Porrick Hines owned mare, Village Heather. The climax of the day is the Supreme Championship where the winners and runners-up of the day are put through their paces one more time. All four judges must decide on an outright champion. Not an easy task. But for Porrick Hines, it was the perfect ending to a very perfect day as Village Heather was awarded the title of Supreme Champion of the show. Ah, uh, it means a terrible laugh. Clifton is the home of the Cunnamaras. And um, it means a lot. She has been champion of champions and she's been on Ireland Broodmere. And Clifton really put icing on the cake. She has been a great service to me. She's from the famous village line. Oh, I'm going to read from her, going to let her after dress, and I'm going to read from this mare. Certainly, when we're going to keep this mare, she's part of the family. Moving on from the flat to performance, and the Connemara pony is up there with the best when it comes to this discipline. Just last July at the European Championships in Fontainebleau, the 10-year-old gelding Grey Ross, ridden by Pora Kenny, represented Ireland as part of the Irish Pony show jumping team, and they did us proud. 
The previous month, this son of Ross Abbey by I Love You Melody was the outright winner of the Grand Prix in Hagen, Germany. Grey Ross is not alone in highlighting the performance abilities of the Connemara. Recently at the RDS in Dublin, several Connemaras jumped into placings. This native pony has proved they can successfully compete internationally as well as nationally. And back in Clifton, the last day of the show was all about performance. With five working hunter classes for ponies and riders of varying ages, each must jump a course of fences and then be judged on their confirmation. Like the in-hand classes, the winner and runner-up in each class joins together for the championship. The reigning champion, Blackwood Fernando, and his rider, Alicia Devlin Byrne, held on tightly to their title. Clifton's been very good to us. Second year winning the working hunter champion, and he's won the riddance as well, so he's had a good week. I, he, he's very good. He's, he's yeah, really adjustable so and he loves to jump, agenda. so Millie it helps. <laughs> the high performance was next on the agenda, and who better to explain it than one of the judges on the day, Simon Byrne. The high performance is about getting a quality pony that's able to jump quality fences, and he's able to do it properly with good bascule in his back. He's roundness, roundness going over his fence. He's meeting his fences on his correct strides, and he's flowing over the fences. The height of the fences would be up to a metre ten and in height and they would be up to a metre in width as well, a metre ten in width. And you also have all the different obstacles and fillers that go in underneath the fences and what they are used for is to try and get that little bit of just, they're not a plain fence that the pony is going to, he has to look at his fence and go towards it and not back off his fence and to have that flowing over the fence like doing the boat fence there and then going into the water and the banks and little wall as well to jump and everything. So they are versatile type of pony and they should manage it no problem. Unfortunately, there were a few minor problems on the course. A couple of knocks here, a couple of stops there. But for 10-year-old Patera Crawford, it was plain sailing. Patera and her pony Westmire Queen were the very popular winners of the high performance class. Uh, I thought it was a good course, it was kind of tricky and <laughs> yeah, but she, she's well able to do it so I wasn't nervous or anything. Patera, she's absolutely fantastic. She is one of the, I'd say she's going to be one of the top riders going. I mean, she's, she's so confident. I mean, she's, isn't she? She's she only started to ride the pony in June and she's here today having won that. Fantastic, fantastic. I mean, you saw the height of the jumps. I mean, now, Duchess, she's a really safe, bomb-proof pony anyway, and she, you know, she she wouldn't do anything to harm yeah. Patera, or, you know, she wouldn't take any chances with her, but uh, Patera's a top-class fighter. Brilliant. For her size. I mean, she's tiny, her little pins, yeah. you know? The closing class of the show is the ever-popular Puissance competition. The competitors have the option of a practice fence, which doesn't count if they knock or refuse. There is also a spread fence which they must clear, and then of course, the Puissance wall itself. By round four, there were seven riders and ponies left to face the wall standing at 1 meter 52 centimeters, including Bobby Sparrow Blue, who is the Puissance reigning champion for the past three years. Oh Unfortunately, Bobby Sparrow Blue had to relinquish his long-standing title as the wall is raised to 1 meter 60 centimeters. Four ponies and riders were through to the fifth and final round. Incidentally, Keen O'Connor and his horse, Blue Lloyd, had to jump the same height to win a bronze medal in the 2012 Olympics. First up, we had Christine Malloy on Dara Wani Earl, who made a brave attempt to clear the wall, but was unfortunate. Very unlucky. Very Next in was Grania Daverin on her eight-year-old gelding, Ardmore Lad, who decided enough was enough. Dune Larry Waller and Michaela Ward were next. This combination already won the side saddle class, but the wall just proved too much. It was now up to Lisa Murphy and Letter Maku Lad to face this wall standing at 1 meter 60 centimeters. And what an achievement by this 11 year old stallion Letter Maku Lad and his rider Lisa Murphy, who deserve a gold medal for that performance. Oh, geez, it was nerve wracking now. Like, when you're coming down to it, it's just a big wall in front of you. Like, it's it's big. It's bigger than himself, like, so. 
<laughs> you know, it's fairly scary, but oh, geez, he's super. Like, I couldn't ask for better. Absolutely brilliant. Collectively Absolutely, just speechless. I really was like, I just because I'm just so delighted for for Lisa. I just can't can't believe. It. I never expected from to win this. I, I, we knew he'd have a good shot, but I just can't believe it. As we come to the end of another successful show, a long-standing tradition dictates that all the proud champions parade through the centre of Clifton Town, the heartland of the Connemara Pony.